Welcome. The purpose of this video is to share with you some of the differences and changes that will occur this year. One of the first things we need is for everyone to take their temperature before coming to school in the morning. If your temperature is over 100.4 degrees, we need you to stay at home until you are fever free for 24 hours without taking any Tylenol or ibuprofen. Masks. Everyone, teachers, staff, and students will be required to wear facial coverings unless you have a 504 medical issue or a medical issue in an IEP. Central Cambria is providing every student with two cloth monogram masks. The facial covering can be a surgical or cloth mask. The only requirement is that it must cover your mouth and nose. Some rules for facial coverings. Wash or sanitize your hands before putting on your mask. Try not to touch the face covering. Use the strings when putting on or removing the mask. Do not wear a wet mask. Put your name or initials in your mask. Do not swap masks with other students. Keep surgical masks in a brown, unsealed paper bag for 12 hours to sanitize. Cloth masks must be washed every day after use and before using again or if visibly soiled. Masks must be worn at all times unless eating or drinking. Breaks will be provided during the day for less than 10 minutes. Busing. For daily and extracurricular busing, please try to social distance as much as possible. Line up six feet away from other groups of non-related students. Upon entering the bus, the first students will file to the back with the remaining students filling the seats towards the front of the bus. When you arrive at your destination, students at the front of the bus will exit first and maintain social distancing into the building. Entrance and hand washing. Another change this year during the time we are fighting COVID-19 is that no one is permitted to enter the building except for students and essential school employees. If you forget something at home, your parents may bring it to the school, but will have to leave the item in a bin in the school foyer. A designated person will get the item to you. After entering the building and the classrooms, we are asking everyone to sanitize your hands. There are also times during the day that you should wash your hands after using the restroom, and before lunch. <laughs> supplies and water bottles. Also new this year, everyone will have their own supplies. No one will be sharing supplies. At the middle school and high school, no one will be using lockers. You may carry a clear or mesh see-through book bag. All students will be given a CC water bottle to be used at the refilling stations. Please wipe them down and wash them every day. Social distancing. In order to better follow social distancing guidelines, the number of students in the restrooms and such places as the nurse's office will be limited. The middle school and high school will replace the hall passes and nurses passes with an e-pass. This will monitor the number of students outside the classroom. When walking in the hallway, we are asking that you follow the devil decals on the floor. People will travel on one side in one direction. This will also be the same in a classroom. The flow of foot traffic will follow the devil decals so everyone is moving in one direction. PPE and the nurse's office. This is called full PPE, personal protective equipment. You may see a staff member wearing this gear while monitoring a student or taking a student to the care room. The care room stands for COVID, assessment, response, and evaluation. This is a special room where students will be monitored and wait for their parents to come for them. If a student at any time during the day presents symptoms related to COVID-19 and not attributed to another illness, including fever or chills, cough, shortness of breath or difficulty breathing, fatigue, muscle or body aches, headache, new loss of taste or smell, sore throat, congestion or runny nose, nausea or vomiting, or diarrhea. They will be escorted to the care room and wait for their parents. 
We are also asking all students and staff to stay at home if they have the above symptoms that are not related to another condition. Also, if you or anyone else in your family tests positive for COVID-19, please notify the school nurse. We will be working with the Department of Health on a case-by-case -case basis in determining the need for a quarantine. There will be changes in the nurse's office. In order to follow social distancing guidelines, we need to eliminate or decrease the number of students who need the nurse. If you are ill, stay home. Also, each classroom will have self-care bags so that minor injuries or medical issues may be resolved in the classroom. At the high school and middle school, a student will need to request permission to see the nurse via an e-pass. The nurse will only see major medical issues. Recess. During recess, all students must wear their masks and maintain social distancing. No one is permitted on playground equipment and no gym equipment is permitted of any kind. excited to be back and we need everyone's help in keeping us all healthy this year. We are here to help you be safe and healthy, but we need your help. We have students and teachers that are at high risk if they get COVID-19. We need to protect them as well. I know our student body and I'm confident that you will do all you can to help us all have a great and healthy school year.